Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Uthi from Maranatha Community Fellowship in Plain City, Ohio. I was speaking Sunday about uh, the exchange rates that we get when we go to a foreign country. When I went to Uganda a couple years ago, um, I had American money, and in order to spend it there, I had to exchange that for their Ugandan shillings. And so when you look at the exchange rate, we got like 34 to 3,500 shillings per dollar. I mean, and that was like, wow, look at all this money we're getting for the dollar that I'm exchanging. And obviously, as the value of the dollar goes up or down, this exchange rate changes. So sometimes it's better than others. Um, but you have to go exchange that money. And as we think about what God has done for us, and we think about living our lives here, I was talking about um, the exchange rate that God gives us when we take what he's given us and are good stewards of it. We use it for other people. We're generous. We're willing to share, to do good works. And, and it says that we're laying up a treasure for a good foundation in the coming age. And as I was thinking about this, I got to thinking and developing a little more thinking about that there's an even better exchange rate than that. It's the exchange rate that God has given us um, with his son. And so we all are sinners. We all sin. We all have shame associated with sin and guilt and all that. And yet, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 1.18, it says, For you know that you were redeemed from your empty way of life, inherited from your fathers, not with perishable things like silver or gold. And so he's saying we're redeemed from an empty way of life. I mean, a life that really has no purpose until we come to know Christ, and then we have the greatest purpose ever, and that is to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ and his kingdom. What greater purpose is there than that? But we were redeemed from a way of life that was, that was useless, that was empty. And we were redeemed, it says in verse 19, with the precious blood of Christ, like that of an unblemished and spotless lamb. It says, through him you believe in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that you have faith and hope in God. So our hope and faith are to be in God through Jesus Christ, through our, through our belief in him. But it was through his precious blood. He came down and gave his only begotten son because he loved the world so much. I mean, he loved your neighbor. He loved your child, your parent. He loved the people you come in contact with in your community. He loved you, he loved me so much that he gave his only son, as Paul described as the indescribable gift. That's how much he loved us, that he gave his own son so that we could have life, so that we could have purpose. Him who knew no sin became sin so that we could have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So we gave away our sin, our guilt, our shame, in exchange for the righteousness of Jesus Christ that came through his precious blood that was more precious than silver or gold. You know, I was looking up uh, the Hope Diamond, which is the one of the biggest diamonds in the world. It's 45 carats. It's worth about $250 million. If a financial transaction, somebody came and said, you give up everything and I'll give you the Hope Diamond, most of us would do that because most of us aren't worth more than $250 million. I mean, what an exchange. And yet we know that God redeemed us, saved us, exchanged. What an exchange rate we got. So here's the bottom line. You may get a favorable exchange rate here um, in the world financially, but nothing, I mean, nothing compares to the exchange rate of the precious blood of Jesus Christ for you and me, where our sin, our guilt, and our shame were exchanged for the righteousness of Jesus. Amen, what better exchange rate? Can't you wait to see him when he comes again? That is the treasure. Jesus is the most important treasure we could ever have, that we get to dwell with him forever and ever in his glory. Amen, come Lord Jesus. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.